So this is our new LED light designed for reef aquarium systems and it's the back side so that's the heat sink out here and a cooling fan the connection wire output at the bottom you see the acrylic cover uh, that is used to protect the LEDs from water this is the side where the LEDs are placed and it has a whole range from 400 nanometers to 480 nanometers uh, that is uh, UV to blue and uh, a white chip that is a hybrid chip that has a Kelvin temperature from 10,000 to 15,000 K and yeah, that, that quite satisfies the requirement. I don't need red and green LEDs in here uh, since the white has the required amount of uh, red and green in them. Um, yeah, so it's, it's for a reef aquarium, so we don't want to put more of red and green unnecessarily to bloom the al algae problems and stuff like that. The concentration of wavelengths is according to years of research on the coral growth and that's according to how I decide to put uh, UVs and blues in them. Uh, yeah, you can see that the fixture is quite slim. Yeah. It's like 1.5 inch in thickness including the fan yeah that's it a real-time controller for a LED light it has the five channels on the output so we can connect our wavelengths and combinations of them are here and the power supply it's a automatic rapid cool so whenever the lights are at their peak it can cool itself rapidly it's a automatic system try to use supplies like these uh, you would get good success for uh, so uh, just because it can keep itself cool and give the optimal output. I have used good quality copper wires and uh, calculated the amount of thickness that is required for the current. As you can see, I've used big fat wires, and uh, these are oxy-free. Uh, Oxy for something wires I don't remember they are resistant to moisture and are best for salt water applications uh, they are tin coated on the inside or the copper so they are resistant to carbon so let's uh, turn on the lights and yeah so uh, we are running uh, the light on real time mode uh, Let's change the mode and uh, this is the night mode, the moonlight, uh, the coral glow, coral glow 2, coral glow 3 and ecstasy. This is one of my own modes and daylight 1, daylight 2, daylight 3. So this is at the maximum of the panel and uh, you won't be able to differentiate with the color wavelength since the camera cannot pick up the colors and uh, yeah if you can hear the voice of the fan uh, it is automatic according to the temperature so when i change the mode if you can hear it Yeah, so when the bright when the panel kind of gets hot, uh, uh, the fan will boost itself to keep the panel cool. And uh, yeah, so that's that's the reef light, fully automatic and uh, powerful. Since it's the blue color in that, you won't be able to make out. Uh, uh, brightness uh, since the camera is also adjusting to the light about the cooling of this light I've used my own technique uh, so the cool air is taken in from this side and is thrown from this side so 
cool air coming from the edges and it's thrown from the center uh, it's all it's also about uh, the placement of LEDs uh, it's it's totally different according to the cooling and uh, yeah this this uh, the cooling technique that I have used for this is a trap compression method so it kind of sucks the air uh, and let me show you a small demonstration of how the air is sucked through this